go. All right, guys, our first spot's going to be right here over on the right. I'm going to pop up the map here to show you guys where we are going to, and I'll show you how to get up there. There you go. There goes Okay, once we get over here, let your stamina recover real quick, and I'll kind of show you how to get up here. Uh, it's a little tricky. Once you get up this first jump, which is the easy part right here, you have to look forward and then literally quickly snap to your left. Um, and then right here, you can actually jump up that rock. I ended up missing it, unfortunately. You guys will watch me do it again. Uh, that's so sicky. The first <laughs> All right, once you're actually up at the top of the rock here, you can actually look over uh, this entire camp right here over on the right, which quite a few people do tend to go to in the beginning, but not, not very many now that they know that we snipe over here. Um, you'll also kind of get a look over the other sniper rock, which I will show you in just a second. Okay, once you're done looking through this bush and you don't see anybody, you just turn around right here. Uh, you take a right right here. In between these two bushes, if you look straight ahead, you'll actually see the other sniper rock right across there at Beachhead. You look over on your left here and you'll actually see Frontier on your left where you spawn. And you'll actually have some people running up there trying to get loot from that semi-truck area and all that stuff. I hope I leave you. And here's a quick clip of me actually using this spot in action. Dang, I got him even that far away. Okay guys, spot number two actually is over here at Frontier on this mountain. Uh, I'll go ahead and pop that up and show you guys that real quick. Okay, for this spot, make sure that you guys do got a little bit of stamina again. And then this one's a little strange. You just kind of have to come in here at this angle and jump right there. Kind of messed that one up there. Get back up there. Then you jump at this rock here. Then you jump again right here at this little tiny edge, and it just you can just walk right up. It's a very strange area, but you can get all the way to the top of this mountain and lay down, and you can get some pretty cool kills. I'll pop up a kill and show you how this spot works. Enemies. All right, guys, spot number three is just right across the street from where we just were. It's over here at Beachhead. I think most people know about this spot since it's been here since the Alpha. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how to get into this one anyways and show you guys a kill from it as well. Okay, so this one you just climb up the sandbags right here, and then you jump on the rock right here in front of you. Just like that. Sorry, I had no energy there or no stamina. And then you just jump up the rock right here. And then you can actually sit in all these bushes and you can actually lay down and you can get some kills, guys. And I've gotten quite a few from this spot as well. But a lot of people also know about this one. Got him. Okay guys, spot number four is over here at Supply Camp. Honestly, probably one of my favorites here. There it is up on the map for you. Um, honestly, I probably use this spot more than any of the other spots, mostly because this is a spot that I get into on my own. There is no other people that I know get into this that I've seen yet. I'm the only one, um, except for my friends that obviously have seen it. Uh, let me show you how to get into this one. So on this one, you just climb up the sandbags there. You just jump on this little rock, turn around, jump one more time, and you are on the roof. It is that simple. Make sure you guys do kill the sniper scab over here. He will shoot the shit out of you. Uh, one of the downfalls of this side um, is that the scav on this supply camp will respawn, whether you're up here alive or not, so you will have to contest him. Um, and you can see the sniper trees across like I was just showing you, and all of Courtyard as well. You can even see the path going up. Well, let's get into some kill cams and show you what's up. I bet those guys know about my spot now. This game we just had an FAL with a scope, but it still worked out to our benefit. Yo, what? Okay. They're gassing and smoking, thinking they're hidden, but they don't know where I'm at. Killed the one lady. There's another one up there now. 
the left. He's looking for me. Killed him. Nice move. One left, one left. All right, guys, spot number five is just right down the hill there uh, from Supply Camp. It's actually going to be the mountain right here. I'll pop it up on the map real quick. Make sure you get some stamina, and let's do it. So on this jump up, it's actually quite simple. You just got to kind of follow these rocks here on the right. I mean, sorry, on the left side here, and then you just jump up here on the right. Uh, like I said, just make sure you guys give yourself enough stamina to jump up these few uh, spots right here. Now, I've not seen anybody else actually get up here myself. Um, I don't actually have any kills from this location, as I actually just found this location the night before as well. Um, so you guys are welcome to use it if you think it's viable. If not, well, scratch it out of your head. Okay, guys. Spot number six is right here, heading up to Courtyard. Right before you get to this tree, just take a right right there. As you're looking off in the distance here, you're actually going to take a left and you're going to jump over this rock right here and you'll be in the tree sniping spot. I can't seem to find the clips I recorded for this location, so I do apologize about that. We're going to move on. All right, guys. Spot number seven is right here behind Courtyard. You actually just run up this rock right here. You can jump in this tree here. And you can either go over the wall right there, which is also another shortcut to get in, which is what I'm going to show you here. Um, and then you can actually jump back on the wall right on this box in the corner of the box and get up on the wall. And then you can actually get on the other side of these trees here and you can actually snipe over all of this. And I'll kind of show you that here in just a second. And you can't go too far out on that uh, point there, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some kills from this location as well. Target eliminated. All right, spot number eight is back here in RV camp. You're actually going to jump on the windshield wipers of this RV here, and then you're going to be able to climb up on top of the RV, which is then going to allow you to either go left or right into two different uh, sections of this mountain, and I will show you both and how to get kills from both as well. Oh, you're going to get me killed. Well, we're sitting here building up our salmon real quick. We do end up hearing gunshots right behind us here, so I'm going to show you how to get into this tree real quick and look behind you and snipe over Crash, uh, what I call Crash Mountain. Uh, enjoy, guys. And because most people don't really know about this location where you can see at, number two felt safe with looting his friend, and now he's dead. And if you want to know the extent of this location, you can see all the way to the wall over here, and this guy's about to find out. Got one. Alright guys, we are in the exact same tree. We've just turned around now, and we've got some movement behind us. And just like that, we got a double kill from his friend on the left. Actually, let's just go ahead and call that a triple kill. Here comes number four, confused as always. He's trying to figure out where they died from. He has no clue, guys. Okay, I know what you're thinking. You're like, all right, you showed me this side on the right of the RV. What about the left side of the RV? Well, let's go ahead and show you this location, guys. Let's show you how this, this is very viable just as well. Okay, so the trick is to get up on this little brown patch of mo as much as you possibly can. And then take a jump and then pull up as soon as you take a jump. You're just doing a double combination and then get you right up on this mountain here, guys. Now watch how this spot plays out. Dang, this is a crazy spot.
Yes. Killed one. Almost killed another. Oh. Nice. Uh, where, where? Can you ping them? Can you ping? Killed another? Oh, nice, bro. Just in case you guys are lost, just remember we are at the back of RV camp on top of this mountain, okay guys? Now, as I have some of these friends try to figure this out for the first time, you guys can watch them all kind of struggle and laugh a little bit. We are going to go around this mountain because it does continue. You can actually go really far back here, um, almost to the point where you can see over the helicopter and villa if you've got quite a good scope, guys. So I'm just going to show these guys really quick on how to get around, which is what I'm going to kind of show you here in the video as well. So that kind of works out. Um, what I'll just explain the same thing I was explaining to those guys. You can't go really any higher than where he's going right there. There is an invisible wall, um, but you can't actually get down the backside of this mountain without taking any damage if you need to get out quickly. Um, there is a way to go higher right here. You have to like pre-jump into this and then glitch yourself up the rock holding W and A to go up. Uh, I've never been able to do it, guys, but there are people I have seen go all the way to the top of the mountain up there and get to the tippy top. It is possible, so if you guys can uh, show me how to do that one, that'd be great, because I, I know it's possible. I just haven't got it. Look, some of those guys are still just now figuring out how to get up there. Uh, well, anyways, we're going to move on to uh, the next spot. Okay, so spot number nine is actually the crash helicopter, guys. Um, you can actually get up on top of this helicopter and sit on the little crate that's on the mountain right here and snipe over the entire farm and kind of watch people as they come and go. One of my favorite spots, also a spot I never see other snipers at, which is why I get kills here, because people just walk right in front of me. Um, I'm gonna get some stamina here and we're gonna show you how. So there's actually a way right here where you can get up without jumping and I'm gonna show you. You just kind of go to the right, you walk all the way up and then you can pull yourself up here, pull yourself up on the front and you can either pull yourself or jump right here to save stamina. And then get right to the edge here, and then you jump right to the crate, pull yourself up, but you have to pull yourself up on the left here, not right there. Yeah, around, and then pull yourself up. Then you lay down, and you can see so much, guys. I'm going to show you some kills from here. Okay, the final spot, spot number 10, is here at Factory, guys. Got that marked on the map for you. Uh, just make sure you get plenty of stamina because this one's a little bit tougher to get into. But once you figure it out, it is a really fun spot, guys. Now, we're just on the back side of Factor here by the old wall jump right here. And that just you crawl on this trash can. Then you climb on the roof here. And then you have to jump on that air conditioning unit and climb up. Once you get it and you figure it out, guys, you're going to love it. Always be prepared on your player uh, that you have bandages because generally running across that gives you bleeds. Somehow I got lucky and did not get them on this. All right, let's show you what a kill looks like from this exact spot. Poor guy got it on the way out. Well, guys, I hope you guys liked that video. It was a little longer today. Uh, just don't forget to follow, like, or subscribe wherever you guys are watching this content. Um, I absolutely appreciate every single one of you guys that do watches. Um, I'm going to try to keep making more of this content, but every like and sub sure does help out my channel, guys, and helps me grow a little bit. Um, so I appreciate you guys once again, and I'll see you guys on the next one.